I'm so sorry about the cutting of the video. It's very annoying, but I know I'm growing. You know? Presently, that is what I'm, I'm trying to say about uh, myself right now. A few weeks ago, I couldn't comb my hair. And now, by the grace of God, I can comb it. Very soon, I'm going to be able to treat my face. So very soon, I'm going to be able to have my own personal data and not just waiting on the public Wi-Fi. So what I'm trying to say there is that nobody is asking you to look unkept, unkept. But anything that is going to make you look like a prostitute and then a man gets attracted to that prostitute thing in you and then you want this relationship to turn to uh, a godly relationship later. They play. <laughs> You're just playing. You're just joking. Won't share it. Show mommy share it. You're just joking. You started a relationship based on the fact that this man is attracted to you sexually. You are almost your breast is almost coming out. Look at Chama today that, that is with David. I already call her she's with David. She's not married to him. I've said it before. I don't know, maybe I was prophesying that. I've said it before that they can't get married. People think I was being an hater. They can't get married because she's not his wife. She's not the wife of his destiny. You understand? So the chairman that is with the video, look at how she dresses sometimes. The breast is almost coming out. Like that should I really went to to go and collect her word. I did not give him. Her breast was almost coming out where she was running after time. At the time you your relationship is based on sex. And that is why he still goes out to sleep with other women. Because you, you started this relationship based on sex. You made him to approach you based on the fact that you can give him a good sex. And now you want to you want him to be faithful. You want him to be the good man, to be the good husband. To be the good father, it's not going to work. A lot of you, a lot of relationships today, you know. By the time God gave me the chance to go out and start seeing things, before I've always been an omo omo about how do they call it? <laughs> omo get inside. <laughs> that's that's me from childhood. So when God brought me house, and I started seeing things, I saw how people were doing relationship. You just get physical and then from there you call it relationship. Yeah, it's my boyfriend. And what do you mean by this boyfriend? We are sleeping together. And from sleeping together, you think this man is going to suddenly be that man that is committed, that wants a wife, that wants a partner. That is why a lot of you, before you get married, you are you dress some kind of ways. And after marriage, you are, you are giving your excuse for changing your type of dressing that you are now a married woman. It is because that time you were trying to attract this man. The dress you now dress now inside marriage, that is actually whom you are. That is actually you want, how you want to dress. Or maybe it's the man that is forcing you to dress that way. But if you have your own plan of dressing, you dress smartly even before you got married. And this man approached you. Or maybe you see a good quality in him that made that made him that that want to make you to 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 be your husband. Abby. What is the English I'm speaking? You know, like it's from your own heart of heart that you want this man to be your husband. You understand? You have seen good qualities because nowadays women don't bother to look for good qualities in man before marrying them. All their reasons for marrying this man is at least he's the one that approached me. No, you should be able to choose for yourself too. You should be able to find out qualities from this man that, that you want in the man. You want in a husband. Don't, don't, be, don't just base it. Is he the one who's going to be happy in the marriage? Do you want his happiness against your own happiness? Look for the right qualities in him. What do you want in the father of your children? What do you want in a husband? If he has it, then then there's nothing wrong in being with him. Stop um, 
grow to the point that they want to choose a woman that is um, godly or decent or they look beyond the physical but the temptation is very high nowadays you understand the temptation of um, to be sexual God, this network is frustrating my life. God, please. <laughs> it's frustrating me. <laughs> oh, God, it's frustrating me. I cannot lie. You cannot lie. God, it's frustrating me. God, you have to do something fast. Something now, 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 now. And I know God will do it. Amen. You know, nowadays, I have been praying a lot of prayers, especially for financial blessings, and God has not been answering. But then I keep praying. He said, pray until you receive. You receive. And I'm, I'm hopeful that God is going to answer. He's just preparing the way. And he will do it. Amen. So let's continue our discussion. So, um... <laughs> we are talking about the physical. About sexualizing your body. Sexualizing yourself to get a good man so i now said it's not as if men don't get to the point where they actually want good women you understand but the temptation of continually um wanting sexual women is always is more nowadays we have it more maybe in the past it was not as much as this at least in the past we still have women that you still consider them beautiful because they are youthful. You understand? At least in the olden days, there were lots of virgins. And when you are a virgin, you have your youthful look. You understand? You don't look like you have given birth to three kids while you are still single. And you don't have a child. <laughs> you understand? Sorry about that. But they base their love then on that is why nowadays if you are thinking what do a man want man don't want anything there's nothing you can do in this life that you can actually say this is actually what man wants to be in, in relationship with a woman men they're like they're like afe -fe. they're like breeze they're like wind when it comes to choosing a woman every woman is good to them you understand because i still don't know why a young child a man will be sleeping with a very very young girl that is to tell you that there is nothing there is nothing that a man wants somebody like is it paul or peter or Kuyi, you understand that is with Ivy now look at that is the wife of his youth they started from the university i even saw their story one time like that they started from the university. A lot of men today, they be like, they want women that can suffer with them. They want women that stay with them in their difficult times. That lady was with him from first hundred level. He approached her when she was in hundred level. And she was there with him throughout the time that he was trying to grow and become a star. This girl was there with him. And I'm sure they would have had times where things were difficult and they couldn't uh have money or have food she was there with her during those times and um, eventually after three kids he broke up with her divorced and went with a girl that has never in her life suffered with this man a girl in her life that came to to enjoy a girl in her life that i don't call this life to suffer <laughs> So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to tell you that men are like breeze when it comes to choosing a woman. They want to choose everything. If you put 100 women down and you say, uh, which qualities do you really want in a woman that can make you to choose all these women? When you start checking them one by one, you will see that if you keep having a reason to choose one of them. I saw, I saw a post recently. A guy was like, 
he likes women that are stupid that are not intelligent so when he approach a lady that is beautiful and she's she talks he talks to her and she's she's replying very un, unintelligent or like a stupid person that he feels attracted that, ah this is my type of woman and it is the same man that will come and tell you i like beauty with brains <laughs> I like beauty with brains. The same man that says, there was a story of a woman. She said her husband left her because after, is it six years in the marriage? I can't even count the number of years. But they already have their kids. Maybe the number of kids is six kids. I don't, I can't really remember. Maybe it's six years. But after several years in the marriage, the man came, the man impregnated their housemaid and his reason and went and married the housemaid and his reason was that he likes women that are not learned can you see the same man that was with this woman knowing that she's a successful woman she's learned she's decent she's everything is the same man that come and tell you that he doesn't like a woman that is learned so what am I trying to say? What am I trying to pick? I'm trying to pick to you that when it comes to choosing a man, you as a woman, don't base your judgment on what the man says. Base on it on what you want. Because what you, that is why there's always a proposal like, do you want me? I want to tell you how a man's art is. Whenever they're asking that, uh, do you want to be with me? It's like, do you know me? Have you seen me? Have you seen who I am? And do you think I'm, I'm considered to be a good guy that you should make the decision to be with me? He's literally asking you to be with him. Like, check me out and see if I am worthy to be your husband. So a lot of you, you have not even checked this man to see if he's worthy to be your husband. You just say yes because somebody come and ask you, will you be my wife? You understand? Many of them are, are very responsible. Look at possible today. Look at how he's messing women up online. And then he comes tomorrow or maybe he approaches a lady. Do you think I am worthy to be your husband? Do you think with the level of whom you are, with the qualities of the woman that you are, do you consider me worthy to, to be your man to be your husband to partner with you so it's usually not what the man wants it's what the woman wants that is why they leave you halfway because they, they try to justify it that you didn't know what you want you 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 didn't check me out in a very good way because men you're not going to approach a man you're not going to love a man based on the looks right you is not the eyelashes that is going to attract you when it comes to man he's not the lipstick so there's a personality in him that is that you are liking so he's asking you do you consider my personality a good personality to be your husband so by the time you are saying yes to that man you are indirectly saying that your standard is so low to the point that you can stay with a man who is irresponsible, irresponsible. A man who smokes and, and beats women around and do all sorts of things that is not nice. And then when you get married to this man, you suddenly want him to be the right man. You suddenly want him to change. How now? How now? That is why you have, we have all these problems nowadays. That is why there are a lot of problems in marriages today. Look at the marriage of your life. With all the make up everything the wife is doing just to please this man i remember the post that a while life posted after they gave birth to their second child they said ah uh, still slave for the husband that's why that you are a nursing mother you understand she's just doing everything to get this man hooked with her looks with her almost getting naked although she doesn't go naked but very seductive and stuff like that so what else does he want that is to tell you that they really truly don't want anything. There's nothing any man wants in a woman that can make him 
actually want to be with this woman. There's no quality in a woman that a man cannot be with. If a man tells you, I want a woman who is quiet, I'm telling you, if he sees a woman that is not quiet, he can still be with her. So there's no special quality that you can say is because of this quality that this man chooses me. There's no special quality. It is you who should know what you want in the man. Is he a good man? Does he treat women right? Does he care about my feelings? Is it the type that when he wants to bless you or do something for you, he wants to exchange it for sex? Because there are some men like that. You don't expect a man that has been giving you favor for sex to suddenly tomorrow not do the same thing to other women outside. So you are, you are different. You are suddenly an angel. That is why he's not going to cheat on you. He's not going to ask another woman, come and sleep with me to collect food, to collect house. You are just another woman too. So he's going to continue doing things like that. You are going to check, does this man, is this man just naturally nice? Is it nice, nice, like nice, nice? You understand? Is it the type that respects women that don't sleep around? You have started dragging man. Dragging woman with man now that's that you are not yet married and suddenly inside the marriage you are expecting this man to stay with you alone How? Stop sexualizing your body to keep a man Stop sexualizing your body because if we get attracted fine You 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 are almost naked all your breast is almost coming out and everything and you have fake makeup uh, fake everything this wig, I see it online. So people have one million naira they are using it to buy wig. For what? If I see one million naira now, do you know what I'm going to use one million naira to do in my life? All this my post, I'm going to promote them. That is what I'm going to use one million naira to do right now if I see one. And that's like one thousand dollars or more. Yeah, I see it. I have better things to use such things to do instead of using it for. And that is that is another thing I want you to know. I've discussed this some time ago. I can't remember vividly the topic. Okay, I, I remember the topic. That topic where I said, women, you can grow too. But I said, stop allowing these men to just give you stipends for your glory. They are exchanging your glory for the money they are giving you. Because for heaven's sake, for Jesus Christ's sake, a man giving you money to go and buy a wig. The money that he can give you, and the money that you can use, I go and use to better your life somewhere. If you want to start processing to travel abroad, do you know that with few money you can even do it? You can go and study abroad. If I see good money now, I have better things I have to use to better my life. And then all the money is giving you. I see how these girls, their wardrobes and stuff like that, filled with bags, filled with shoes. Fake hairs with this hair that is on your head. Many of them, their hair is untidy. A lady on YouTube one time, she's like, after four months, she wants to lose her, her braids, the hair on her head. Four months, you did not pour water on your head for heaven's sake because of fake hair. Who are you trying to impress? Allow this men to love you for whom you are. That is how to have a strong relationship. That is how to have a, a commitment relationship. Because first of all, you are, he's not approaching you as, as an harlot. He didn't see you as an harlot. That is why I had to open the door for man to come to me before you come to me. You understand? I'm the one that will give you the chance to come to me. You understand? Because I don't have the look of an harlot. You can't see me and then you want to... So you say, uh, it's my eyelashes that is attracting you to come and... To, or no, you come and do... It's my eyelashes that is calling you to come and do with me. No, you won't have that kind of excuse. So that is where we are going to end it today, by God's grace. So I'm trying to encourage others. One of the reasons why relationships are not with commitment today is because you are approaching this man or you are making this man approach you based on you looking like a prostitute. And then suddenly you want him to start treating you like, like the gift of God to him. The Bible says he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. You suddenly want him to see you as the favor from the Lord. 
while you showed to him that you are an harlot, you showed to him that, look at me, you can have sex with me. And today, most of these relationships are based on sex alone. Your relationship started based on the fact that this man wants to have sex with you. And then suddenly, you suddenly want him to be the committed man, the man that doesn't sleep around, the man that... The same way he looked at you and you didn't look like his wife when he approached you, it's the same way he's going to see another woman outside. Is he, are you the only one using eyelashes in the world today? Are you the only one using fake hair? You will see another woman with fake hair in another place now. That is why most of you women, you are so insecure today. You want to have extra nyash. You want to have extra breasts. You want to, to do unnecessary things. Just to look sexual to this man. Stop sexualizing your body. Then you come and say, eh, eh, oh man, it's after my body. What did you do to make men after your body? It's you now. For, for, uh, for me, I prefer to put in effort into my destiny, into my life, than for me to be putting effort into my, into my body. The only thing I can do to myself is take care of myself. Take care of myself, but adding extra, extra to look sexual to man i don't do it i don't do it if you want to be with me then you be with me because you want me you would have gone through a lot of stress so today i'm trying to tell us another thing that is causing problems and dramas in relationships may god help us let us pray father we thank you for today's talk please be glorified almighty father i'm so grateful i didn't plan it this way but you planned it by yourself please be glorified Please come and help us. Let the world of God has gone and let it heal people. Don't let me become a cast out in your presence too. Help me that it's sorry about this Wi-Fi. Yeah, we were praying. Oh God. The ones that want to just sleep with us in the name of Jesus. Help our men to Lord so that they can control themselves and stop jumping on every woman because she attracts them to sleep with them. Please have your way. Thank you for answer prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.